beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a multi palette bingo using two of the palettes that I own from Menagerie Cosmetics. I have the Feral palette and then the Mini Courtship palette. Both of these are very, very beautiful. I have used both of these a few times and I actually do have a tutorial for each of them on my IGTV. I will link that in the description box below if you would like to see this look and this look here that I did using these palettes. But today I thought it'd be really fun to incorporate both of them in a uh, multi-palette bingo. I'm gonna randomly choose three colors from the Feral palette and then th two colors from the Courtship palette. And then also I just thought it might be fun to do kind of like a chatty palette bingo and we can just chat so I'm not just it's not just necessarily about the makeup. I will say I really like these palettes. The quality of these, quality of these shadows are fantastic and, and so far in my experience there's only been one shadow that I didn't think performed very very um, well and I'm hoping I really don't get it. It's a beautiful shade but it just like doesn't perform like the other shimmers and it's the shade right here Wolfling. It looks really beautiful but these two apply like a dream this one uh, I had trouble with but it's which is unfortunate because it's stunning but anyways um yeah I just thought we'd do a little bit of a chatty chit chat about some stuff as I put on my makeup so I am gonna go ahead and pull up a random number generator through Google and then pick the numbers well shadows in here so I'm just gonna go one through 12 as the max and then I'm just gonna write three numbers first number is five then one and Nine. No, number one's gonna be this, so that's gonna be really interesting. So number one, five, okay, this one down here, and nine, nine, okay. Okay, this is gonna be a, a fun palette so far. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch them real quick here. Really, really pr pretty palette. I'm glad I got that um, shimmer shade. It is stunning. Okay, and then the courtship palette only has six shades, so what I'm gonna do is change the max on this to six and then to do it twice so okay and number one and then number two okay well that's really easy so oh, this should be a really interesting combo so i've got this shade here caramelize and then keepsake this is my color scheme i like how the metallics kind of really match with the mattes that i got and the only really wild card i have here is this blue um, so this should be a really interesting palette to work with. Okay, so I do think I'm going to keep this look very, very simple. Since the colors are, they kind of really go with each other really well, um, I probably could do something more creative, but I'm just going to keep it really simple. That way I don't have to think too much about it, and I can kind of just chit-chat. There are a few things I want to talk about. Anyway, so at the first I'm going to go in with this shade from the, um, Courtship palette, which is Caramelized. Um, anyways, I was thinking about talking about, like, my... Uh, weight loss journey and health journey so far and my weight loss update which isn't like there isn't like a ton to say I mean there's new things I've been doing but as far as like a weight loss I don't know I was kind of thinking I would talk about my weight loss uh, stuff in another video because I wanted to do a, a kind of chit chat get ready with me using my makeup basket this month because there's a few new well not new but stuff in the makeup basket it's not necessarily new but like that I'm kind of rediscovering and deciding if I want to keep it or not so I figured it might be nice to do that on camera and I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup lately so I, I haven't even really given it a shot so I feel like my makeup basket I might do a, a several repeats for next month which I, I seem to always have repeats in every um, every month but this one like I feel like a majority of the makeup basket will definitely be on repeat um, anyway, so I was thinking about doing a chit chat get ready with me, um, with my makeup basket products and talk a lot more in depth about my weight loss and stuff. Um, but I actually just randomly got a package, not randomly, it just, I knew I was expecting it because the brand reached out to me, but it just literally showed up on my doorstep. So I was like, oh, it might be kind of fun to try this on camera right now. So now I want to go in with the shade Wisteria. Anyway, so I guess for an update on my like weight loss journey-ish is that um, my husband and I joined a gym. This will be like about three, the third, this is the third, third week? Yeah, the third week that we've um, been members to the gym. It's been really, really nice actually that uh, my husband joined with me because um, 
I used to have a gym membership a long time ago and he did too at a different gym, a little bit more expensive gym. The gym we go to now is a little bit more affordable, <laughs> just like more of a basic gym. And that's really all we wanted. Um, but anyways, I used to go um, by myself a lot and just mostly do the classes and then do a little bit of cardio. But um, when my husband would go with me, he would always help me with weightlifting. Um, and that was a big um, help to me in really um, losing weight because when you're lifting weight and building muscle, that helps you, you know, burn the fat a lot quicker. Um, but I've always been intimidated to just go in the weight room and do stuff myself because I don't know much about it. I don't want to hurt myself and also don't want to look like an idiot. So, <laughs> so I, I didn't do that if my husband didn't come with me. But um, my husband knows I've been trying really, really hard to be working out. I still work out every morning, wake up early, work out every morning. And I have changed um, a lot of what I, the way I've been eating, even more so than the last time I kind of did an update. Um, I've made a lot of changes which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but anyways, he's seen how I've been really trying to work hard to make changes for my health as well as my weight and things like that. And also has, he knows that like I've been kind of down. I don't want to cry, God. Why, every time I talk about my weight, I start crying. I don't know why. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just a battle. It's hard. Um, I've been down because like, um, I, I've been doing all this for so long now and I haven't really seen any um, change in my actual weight. I will say though that um, clothes are fitting me a little bit looser now than they were, not a bunch, but the biggest difference I noticed was um, last Sunday, um, I was wearing a dress and I went to put on this belt that I normally wear um, just for like a little accent, because you guys know I love belts. Um, and it was too big for me. Like I put it on the tightest loop and even that um, was too, too big. And so I feel like there has been a progress, there has been a change in my body, but just the scale's not really reflecting that. So it's kind of defeating. I mean, you have to like, and I know this, you have to like look at um, non-scale victories and stuff like that. And I know this, but it still can be very, very frustrating when you are working hard and you're trying to like lose weight and see a change in your weight and you don't see that. And um, Anyways, my husband, you know, really took note of that and decided that he really wanted to help me um, and push me, you know, to be able to lose um, more weight and just do the best that I can. And he knows that when I work out like weightlifting, that really helps me. So anyways, point being, we got a gym membership and then we usually try to go when my son has football practice. So which is in the evenings, that's when he's home from work and I'm kind of done with work and stuff like that. And um, so we would kind of be out anyways. Usually we, we like to hang out and watch our son's practice, but we just thought it might be better use of our time if we use that time to go to the gym and things like that. So we've been doing that the last three weeks. So that's been really, really nice. And I will say that since we've been doing that, even though it's been only just three weeks, um, I have lost, I think I'm down five pounds now. It's not much, but it's something. So I'm happy about it. I feel like, I swear, whenever I'm talking and doing makeup, it takes me so much longer. Like I normally would do this kind of look so, so quick, but because I'm talking, I'm like taking my time. I'm just gonna kind of soften those edges. I don't like how harsh it kind of looks right now. I feel like I totally messed with these shadows because I got a little bit of powder on my lids. I didn't mean to powder my lids, I actually usually don't. I just like keeping some concealer on my lids. That way I still have a little bit of a um, tacky base for shadows to apply to. But my lids were kind of dry with some powder, kind of flying through the air. So I feel like I did a disservice to the, these shadows that are not like they're just applying too dry. Um, or just not as well over that uh, really powdery lid. So now I think I want to go in with the shade Pack Leader, which is this gorgeous pink metallic shade. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Um, and put that over the majority of my lid. Okay, and then so now I guess I'll talk about my actual, like, what I've changed with my eating. <laughs> it's been a lot, which is like, actually even saying that like it's a little bit frustrating considering like how much I've changed with my eating and still that I'm not seeing much weight loss is so hard because I've talked about before that I um, 
I believe I have an addiction to food. Like, I just love eating. It's a struggle, for sure. Um, but I just love food. I love to eat. Even if I'm not hungry, like, I just love to eat because food tastes good and I just want to eat. So I knew that I did need to make some changes with how I was eating and what I was eating to really help benefit myself the best. And so I've made a lot of changes. Sorry, I couldn't concentrate because I feel like these... <laughs> I'm so mad at myself that I allowed so much powder to get on my lid, so I feel like I'm ruining these shadows. Don't judge these palettes based on this, I feel like it's not applying as well, but I, I'm just going to spray this. I normally haven't had to spray this, but it's just I'm having a hard time let it's not sticking down to the dry base, so I'm just spraying it with the Morphe setting spray. Usually it doesn't need it. If you guys watch my tutorials, like I said, that I'm gonna link in the i in my that I'm gonna link in the description box my IGTV tutorials using these palettes. You will see like these go on beautifully. Just don't put powder down beforehand. Um, okay, sorry. Now I can actually get back to talking what I was talking about. So I have pretty much cut out um, all carbs from my diet. Um, not completely because there's a few things here and there that I will still eat um, and obviously I know that like some vegetables and things like that have carbs so it's not like that I'm pretty much cutting out like bread like I haven't had bread I don't even know when I started really doing it like this um, I know it's been over a month um, have not had bread pastas anything like that um, except for like there are these little tortilla things that I have been using instead like when I want to make a sandwich I will just do it like a wrap and I wanted to save the packaging but I just ran out of them it, I think the brand is like Olay or something like that I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see it um, but they're um, like high in fiber and like low in carb and calorie um, and things like that. They're just better for you and, and um, they actually taste really good. They're kind of expensive because there's you only get eight of them in a package but I don't have them every day so it's like when I'm wanting really wanting something carby or like to make a wrap or just something a little bit more satisfying than like not bread because I love bread um, I will use those so sometimes I'll use them for lunch or sometimes I'll use them with dinner so like recently we had um, tacos when I want to eat um, like you know um, a burrito type of taco whatever I would use those little better for you <laughs> tortillas um, and then I would just have one and then if I wanted more I would just eat, eat the meat in the in the vegetables and things like that on its own but anyway so that's kind of what I've been doing pretty much you know no carb low carb kind of a thing um, pretty much not doing any sugar either um, again, like I said, natural sugars like fruits and stuff, I'm still going to eat fruits and vegetables. That's one thing like I don't like about certain diets like keto or just different things where it's like you can't even have certain fruits or certain vegetables. I'm like, no, it, those are natural and healthy. Like I'm going to still have my fruits and vegetables because I love, I love that. And you can't take that from me. You're not going to take that from me. So <laughs> as far as like things like my coffee creamer, you guys know I've already talked about I switched over to using the Nut Pods creamer which is just like, I think it's a mix of like almond milk and coconut milk kind of thing, but there's no like sugar or sweetener or anything like that in it. I mean, they come in different flavors, but to me, I feel like I haven't quite um, become accustomed to or acquired the, the flavor of these. So I don't taste flavor to them, to be honest. They feel like they just are basically make the coffee just like a step up from, from black coffee. So it's not just straight black coffee because I've tried drinking straight black coffee and I just can't. Um, so these are like a step up. It just, so I've been doing that. Um, so I'm not doing the super sweet creamer, which I normally love. That's how I love my coffee, but I still enjoy coffee in the morning. So that has been helping me. Um, but like no sweets or anything like that. Um, I'm going to go into this shade now, Keepsake. I'm probably going to go ahead and spray this too. My husband's been... He's so helpful. My husband is amazing. Um, he's been actually grilling up chicken breast for me. And then we've kind of been doing where... I'm not quite like meal prepping or meal planning because I'm just like not uh, like that. Maybe eventually I will get there, but I'm just not about that yet. But basically he's been grilling up like, you know, five, five chicken breasts for me like to have throughout the week so I can um, not just have them every night for dinner because it just gets boring. Like I can't do that, but like have them for like lunches or dinners or whatever. So basically I'm having that as an option and then just doing a lot of vegetables and things like that. A lot of salad, a lot of fresh vegetables, a lot of cooked vegetables and things like that. I feel like when I talk about it, it doesn't seem like it's been that, it's that drastic of a change, but 
it just is. There's just so much that I'm not eating now because normally I get like I could just sit and eat and snack and like just overeat and it's just insane. And so I've just completely stopped that. Um, and I've been eating a lot of salad, which thankfully I love salad and thankfully also I've never been a fan of dressing, so every time I eat my salad, um, I, 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 I would always eat it dry. I never, people always think it's weird. They're like, you don't want dressing? I'm like, no, I don't. They're like, what do you want on it? I'm like, just the vegetables. Like, I like to have salt and pepper and a little bit of cheese, and then croutons is something that I really love. Um, but obviously, no, no croutons, no dressing. But I do salt and pepper it. Sometimes add a little bit of cheese. To it but obviously trying to stay away from cheese as well just anything that's going to be too I don't know, fatty for me or too whatever you know what i mean um but speaking of croutons the reason why i brought that up is because i miss croutons i miss having croutons croutons actually are really really high in calories and carbs obviously because they're bread um but high in calories too speaking of that that's where kind of where this package kind of comes in because i did take a peek at it so i got this i just smacked myself in the face um from a brand called shrewd food um and they actually reached out to me on instagram which i thought was really really interesting because i haven't posted a ton about my weight loss stuff um on instagram except for in my instagram story so if you guys are interested to kind of follow along anything that i'm doing like working out you can follow that i always share or not always i will sometimes share in my instagram stories like when i'm working out and things like that in a little bit so you guys can kind of get a peek there but anyways this is gonna rabbit trail just a little bit so i have this friend who has been a friend since childhood literally literally her mom and my mom were best friends growing up and were best friends as adults and so when they hung out a lot um we hung out a lot and she's actually younger than i am she was more closer with my younger sisters but still i know her she was a childhood friend um who we'd hang out a lot her name is rita and she if i'm remembering correctly i'll have to look up but i'm pretty sure she used to be 300 pounds now her mom was pretty heavy as well um, and so she, you know, was um, heavy as a child and growing up. And um, I didn't even really know this until recently. I recently, somehow, I can't even remember, um, discovered her on Facebook. Or maybe one of my sisters shared her page. I think one of my sisters shared her page or something. And it was just like, congratulations, Rita. And I'm going to link her page and on, in the description box. And I'm going to put her picture on the screen here. Um, but it's revamping Rita. So her starting weight was 366 pounds um, and current weight says 192 pounds and her goal weight is 170 pounds but she looks amazing she's done fantastic and she has a 20,000 followers um, anyways she's phenomenal I'm so proud of her so when I found her page and saw she was doing this I was just like so proud of her and I just thought it was so cool because she's doing so well for herself and it's kind of gained this following and audience for what she's doing she's very encouraging very inspirational um, and I just think that's really really amazing so sometimes she'll kind of share like food stuff that she's getting and trying um, you know that are healthier options or low carb options or high protein options and I'm always like find it really helpful because then it helps me have ideas of, of foods that maybe I can check out and things like that um, to help along with my journey as I'm trying to cut back on on certain things and anyways she had posted um, a picture that she got from shrewd food um, and it was like a package of different kind of um, snacks and I just thought it was so interesting I left her a comment and I didn't even think anything of it so I was actually just looking into checking out their snacks because they looked delicious and I just thought it might be nice to have some snack options like when I'm craving chips or when I'm craving maybe something sweet or when I'm craving just something that I am not allowing myself to have in the house to have like a, a healthier option for me you know what I mean you guys know what I mean so anyways I left that comment not thinking of anything of it but I guess shrewd food saw my comment and then DM'd me and asked if I would like to try them and they would be willing to send me a box of snacks. Now I don't know if that's just because that's just kind of what they do to kind of get people you know interested in purchasing more from them or if they saw that I also have a bit of a following. I'm not quite sure if one thing swayed them or not but anyways that being said I was so so excited that they reached out to me and I was like oh yes absolutely I would be definitely interested in trying because I, I'm interested I was interested in, in checking out their food so anyways that's actually what showed up on my door today so and it says these are shrewd food um, 
protein puffs. They only have 2 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. It says the smartest way to snack. No egg or soy, soy, no peanuts or tree nuts, no artificial flavors or preservatives. Here's this. I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay. So here is the box of snacks they sent me and I'm so excited because this is a high protein, crunchy and convenient and I love a good crunch. And while I was looking in here, I saw they have protein croutons. So I'm so excited about that. <laughs> the bag is only 60 calories, um, two grams of fat, two carbohydrates, one sugar, 10 grams of protein. This might be something I only use half the bag of or if I'm making a salad my meal, like a lunch, complete like lunch, I might just use the whole bag or something like that. Um, but there's other things in here like there's protein crisp nacho cheese, baked cheddar, sour cream and onion. And I was really excited because um, Rita had said that her favorites were the uh, strawberries and cream puffs, which sounds absolutely delicious. So since I haven't been having sweets, I'm like so excited about this. Ooh, okay, there's cookies and cream also. Oh my gosh, sriracha cheddar. Um, oh my gosh. Brick oven pizza. These all look so, so amazing. I'm literally, the, I think, the most excited about the croutons, honestly. So anyways, I wanted to show that real quick because since we're talking about it and it arrived, I figured I'd show and then give them a shout out and a thank you because I was just really so, so excited to receive that box of yummies that may, might help me in my, my cravings and my healthy eating journey. So anyways, let's let's get on with the makeup. I kind of think I actually want to try them here on camera for the first time. See what they taste like. I'm really excited. I'm I, typically, to be honest, like I'm not a big fan of like puff type kind of stuff. Like if you were to ask me about like, you know, puff Cheetos versus the crunchy Cheetos, I always go for the crunchy Cheetos because I like a good crunch. But obviously I kind of get the, that uh, the puffs are probably a little bit less that's how they can make them a little less carby because it's mostly air, you know? <laughs> but either way, I will take it. I will gladly accept it as something that I can have. I'm really excited. I know obviously those do have some sugar in them, but considering I, this won't be like something I have all the time or I probably won't have it every single day, it'll be something that I just have as like a nice little treat or snack for myself here and there. I think that's totally okay. I swear this is like the most basic, simple kind of look and it's taken me the longest time just because I talk so much. I don't know if it's even that interesting or if you guys care that much, but I mean, I think you guys do obviously since you guys show me so much love and support over my like EPS Miami video, which in announcing that I was applying for that program, I was also announcing essentially that I would be talking about a weight loss journey regardless of what happens with that program. Um, that I was planning on making some changes so that I can, you know, get back to a body where I feel comfortable in and, you know, I'm happy with how I'm looking and things like that. So there was going to be changes regardless and it's just nice to be able to share that stuff because I find that it helps with accountability. So hopefully you guys don't find this too boring to do a little bit of a mix of makeup and then and then talking about my my journey here. It won't it won't be all the time, just here and there. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that pink. I kind of think that's gonna be it. I wanna do my brows. All right, babes, I am back. I decided to just do my brows off camera and I did do uh, finish up my lashes off camera as well. I did put on a eyeliner. I used the uh, Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Overdrive, which is just the screen shade. I've been using it a lot. I ran out of my uh, Maybelline Define the Lash Mascara, which I've been loving. So today I use the um, Hard Candy Bold Mascara, which I do like, but I feel like from afar you can't even see my lashes. Like, where are they? Anyways, I do feel like this look pulled together pretty well. Um, once I did my brows and put on some mascara, it's kind of giving me totally uh, some watermelon vibes. So I, I do really like it, even though I feel like I ruined it. But anyways, uh, before I do in this video, I did want to test out some of the... Um, the shrewd food here on camera. So it is about lunchtime. It's a little past lunchtime actually. And I'm gonna 
Actually, I was planning on making myself a big old salad for lunch, and now I'm so, so excited because I am going to go ahead and try out these croutons. And then I want to try out the uh, strawberries and cream. I had them open because I was taking some photos uh, real quick with them. Hmm. They have pretty good flavor, like, and they actually have a really good crunch to them. So they're pretty satisfying. Like I was talking about earlier how I don't necessarily like the puff like Cheetos because I just I just don't like how airy and soft they are. They're not as satisfying as the crunchy Cheetos, but these actually have a really good satisfying crunch. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but if you're someone who likes crunchy food like I do, you'll get it. These have a really good crunch and actually taste really good. Um, the flavor is not like overwhelming like like if you were having something that's truly very sweet but it's definitely it's like hitting the spot for me i'm gonna have one more <laughs> mm. Mm. i really like that a lot that's awesome so yeah this 90 calories so that's definitely not something i would want to have like in one i mean i don't know i'm trying to like even though let me just talk about this even though like i said i'm making changes in my like what i'm eating and how I'm eating, excuse me, I'm talking with my mouth full, I'm so rude. Um, I'm not counting calories or anything. I'm not doing any kind of diet. Like I said, I'm not into like keto or what's the low carb one? What is it called? Oh, Atkins. Like, I mean, is that even a thing anymore? <laughs> um, I'm not doing any type of diet. I'm not counting calories. Um, so I don't know what I'm consuming in a day and I'm not like trying to be super strict in that sense but I am just being a lot more cautious in how much I eat. Like I'm really being more careful of portions. I'm trying to do a lot more fruits and vegetables, vegetables more than anything, and then like a good meat. Um, and uh, obviously drinking a lot of water, which I always do anyways. I always have like a cup of water with me all the time. Um, and, and really just, like I said, cutting out the sugars, um, Obviously, like I said, not complete, sugars and carbs, I'm, I'm not completely cutting them out, but really mostly, like I haven't had bread and I haven't, um, like I haven't had any sweets and things like that. And so, but like something like this, where that has a little bit of sugar, um, some carbs and stuff like that in it, I will have, but 90 calories, I don't think I would have that as a snack alone. It might be something that I have like through, maybe throughout the whole day or like have half now and half another day is something, you know, and I know maybe that might seem really strict to some people. I'm not quite sure um, what that's going to seem like, but I just think for me, because I do have a little bit of a food addiction, I, mean, I say a little bit just because it seems weird to say I have a food addiction, but I do. Um, I just know that I have to be careful because it could be very, very easy for me to, you know, with a food addiction, it's really easy to just say like, oh, I'm just gonna have a little bit um, and then go overboard. It's very easy for me to do something like that. So I do have to be very, very careful. That is why I'm just trying to almost completely cut out sugar and cut out carbs and things like that because it's just too easy for me to go overboard even if I say oh, I'm just gonna have like a little bit I'm just gonna have like a little bit of pasta or I'm just gonna have maybe one biscuit or just one slice of bread like it's just like I have to like really um step back away from it and have healthier different options and then even with the different options I don't want to go overboard because while a, a item like this is absolutely great and I'm really really excited to have like little snack things that'll be um a slower calorie option for me um, I also don't want to totally like overdo it or take advantage of them I still want to be very cautious in how I'm eating and what I'm eating and make sure that I'm not just going for easy snacks like that because this thing these things are really a great idea but I want to kind of stick to really um, keeping with like fresh stuff um, you know because I just know that in the long run that'll be better for me but I'm so excited to have a little option like this because I miss having chips I miss just being able to grab crackers or um, grab you know something sweet or like even something like uh, a sweet granola bar or you know like the Nutri-Grain bars that are you know Nutri-Grain you, know, you know they're not really that good for you um, so I miss having something like that that's convenient and easy um, so I'm so excited about these and I definitely will be taking a little bit of advantage of having them and since I'm going to be using this for my lunch I do kind of want to open it up and see what that tastes like. I'm really excited to find out that these puffs have such a satisfying crunch. 
and so there's actually a pretty decent amount that's why i don't think like i think one of this of these could last me for like two salads i definitely don't feel like i need all of these for for a salad but i i just i'm so excited to have these so this is like a parmesan herb mmm 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 mm. so good oh my god that's actually so so good I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm ridiculously excited about mmm it's like it makes me want to dance like sometimes so you, so you know food like it makes me happy it makes me want to dance it's kind of ridiculous that is really good and because like I said I don't do ranch and things like that to flavor my salad um I just love the little bit of crunch and flavor that croutons do add to a salad. It just amps it up a little bit. I can definitely have a salad with just like on its own with a little bit of salt and pepper. That's perfectly fine. But sometimes you just want a little more something, a little more some substance and a little bit more flavor. So I don't know. I'm really excited to have some croutons. And after I try these things, I will most likely be ordering more. And if you guys want to check out Shrewd Food, I will leave them linked in the description box to check out. Um, I'm I just, this isn't sponsored at all. This just showed up today, so I figured I would mention it in today's video because I was really, really excited to receive those and really just excited they even reached out to me to send them to me. So I just, I'm very thankful. So I want to um, share that. And since I am sharing, you know, my health journey and all that stuff, I hopefully, you know, it kind of makes sense to add it in with this multi palette bingo. Like, I didn't really think it was going to go there today, but here it is. Here, here we are. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and my randomness and a little bit about my kind of like weight loss update, my pathetic weight loss update, but there has been some good progress. Like the belt thing, that really that really helped me like when I wasn't seeing a difference on the scale but the belt like was loose on me it made me feel so good it made me think like okay there is something's happening there is a difference happening in my body I am slimming down there's not a difference on the on the scale but something's happening and I'm doing something right so I'm really I'm excited about that so um yeah I think that's gonna be it for this video uh thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys have any questions for me about my fitness health, weight, weight loss, um, anything else that maybe I'm forgetting to talk about because I just feel so spacey today, please don't hesitate to ask. I would love to have more of a conversation and more things to kind of talk about instead of my just random ramblings. Um, so, so yeah, please ask away and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Don't forget to check the description box for links to Shrewd Food. Oh, also my friend Rita, I'm gonna link her in the description box. Please check her out. Go give her a follow. Let her know that I sent you. She didn't even ask me to do that. She didn't even know I'm going to talk about her, but I'm going to. So go check her out. Let her know that I sent you and show her some love because she's doing amazing things. Um, but with all that being said, I just want to thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. Mwah.